Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way in which you can delete your Google Cloud project. So there's a number of reasons of why you might actually need to delete your Google Cloud project, such as the project no longer being needed, which is actually the most common reason for people deleting a project. It may be costing you too much money. As you may know, Google Cloud projects can be expensive, especially if you're using a lot of resources. So if you find that you're not using a project very often or that it's costing you more than expected, it's probably a good idea to delete it to save a bit of money. This tutorial is going to cover all the steps needed for you to actually delete your own project. So let's jump into it. Start with, you first want to be on the Google Cloud dashboard like I'm on here. And what we want to do from here is go into the top left corner where we can see this navigation menu. So when we click on that, it'll open up here. And then we just want to go down to I am an admin, which is here. And then it will open another drop down. So we go into that and then we want to look for manage resources, which we can find here in between audit logs and create a project. So I select manage resources. And here's where we can actually see all of our projects. So once you get here, deleting the project is pretty simple. What you have to do is just click on the project which you want to delete. So in my case, let's just say we were deleting this one, my first project. We tick that box next to the name. And then once that actually is ticked and selected, we just want to go to delete up here. And then we can click delete and it will give us um, a bit of information about what will happen when we actually shut down the project. So you want to read through this and make sure you actually understand it first. So it says things like to avoid unexpected charges, disable billing for the project before shutting it down. Traffic serving stops in a few hours. You'll lose access. It'll Basically, read all of that so that you fully understand what will happen when you delete your project so that you don't miss out on any things that will happen when you shut down your project. So when you are certain that you want to shut it down, you want to type in the project ID. So you can either type this in or you can, you can just copy and paste it. And then from there, you want to select shut down anyway. And then as you can see, it says shutting down my first project and it is now pending deletion. So what that actually means is it's scheduled to be deleted after the 15th of September. And the reason why they do that is because they allow you a month to bring it back in case you made a mistake or something like that. So it's good that they do this because if they just deleted it as soon as you delete it, you could realise you may need to bring it back up to do something on it. And this gives you the chance to do that. So you'll have a full 30 days after you shut it down until it is permanently deleted. So keep that in mind when you are deleting something. And then it, if you do find you need to bring that back, it's very simple to bring back. So you come back onto this page where we're managing resources. What you want to click is this, resources pending deletion. Go ahead and click on that. And then here we can see this is my first project that I just deleted. And if we were to bring it back, we can simply press restore. It'll tell us a bit about what happens when we restore it and we can choose to restore just like that. And then when we return here and refresh, we should be able to see it under here. There you go. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to delete a Google Cloud project. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.